Hello all and welcome back. Today we've got a brand new 2024. It's Forest River Cherokee Alpha Wolf 2500 RL. Um, a lot of changes in the 24 model years. There was not a lot of 23 models out there so uh, I'm gonna bop through a bunch of everything that they've done and changed since essentially 2022. Um, first thing first, you do have uh, solar panels on here. They all come, at least everything we order, with 100 watt panels. We also have uh, power stabilizers down below. Power tongue jack up front. They do have the updated uh, propane tank covers, which is nice. Docking lights up front. Kind of cool fiberglass front cap. They did change the graphics up some, so um, if you look at them, they are a lot cleaner, a little more angular, lined. I kind of like it, so pretty straightforward. Battery disconnect in here, motion sensing lights. Uh, they are prepped for side view cameras, rear view cameras, and entry way cameras. Slam baggage doors, magnets to hold up. Uh, the Windows here are mirrored again for this year. They did have the mirrored windows in 23, but uh, they stepped, they kept with it. On demand water tank right there. Water heater, I should say, there is no tank. Exterior shower, still got all your connection ports here, black tank flush, all that good stuff. LED light to kind of showcase what you are doing when you are out and about. I didn't do this before, so we can get in here. There is uh, some exterior storage, quite a bit of it actually. Uh, that would be behind the refrigerator, so you'll see that uh, as we go inside. Power connection, LED lights, drop down, luggage rack in the rear. Again, prepped for the backup camera, it is no longer present. Uh, also has ladder prep up there, so you can just add one and go two entryway doors they both had the solid stair entryway awning is about as long as it can be on a camper like this it's full length you do have a two burner stove out here a little water tray spray port to connect to that is right here ice maker and exterior fridge little baby freezer up top lp quick connect is down below Tires are still aluminum. They do have these uh, pressure monitoring devices on there, so you can just kind of take a look at it. Exterior speaker, place to plug in a television, you know, all that cool stuff. There is your uh, camera prep for right outside your door. LED lights underneath the awning. They did uh, change to a bow floor, so very, very nice of them to do that. That'll uh, last a lot longer than some other ones out there overview of this particular floor plan still have zebra shades cabinets up top little lights on the side i didn't quite turn these on yet but i suppose if i did there we go looks like that uh new also maybe you can see this maybe you can't is uh usb ports with the usb c on top of it so you can kind of plug in either the usb or uh, kind of go full all in with the little one same for this year is your control panel here still can drive it from your cell phone solar panel up top looks like we got a 12 volt plug here um, i would probably assume that would go with the television this right here is your on-demand water heater so again pop on and that's where you can kind of control the temperature there uh, moving right along, I guess the other thing I'll point out, these latches right here. Actually really, really nice and convenient. Nice and strong, nice and sturdy, plenty of storage. They did change some valances, so that is one other change as well. U-shaped dinette, again, there's your refrigerator. Behind it you have that storage we were talking about. Still a lift up full extension pull-out drawers so absolutely huge um, keeping on uh, this side really big fridge and freezer sounds like this one's trying to run I don't know if my camera's gonna pick that up but she's running and turning on you got the blue glow light above again speakers do have blue lights in them as well so kind of nifty 
I would say it looks like we did away with the subwoofer in the roof this year, so that's another change. Nice big place to mount a television. I'd put on a swing bracket so that way you can swing it, hang out back there if you want. Otherwise, your U-shaped dinette is right across from it. Um, you do have power in here, coax, of course, all that good stuff. Uh, down below, we have a fireplace. Excellent source of heat. And, of course, uh, ambiance. There is now a vacuum cleaner in here with a toe kick. So if you sweep all the floor up, you just kick that little toe kick up. It'll suck it all in, close it down, all that good stuff. Uh, some more storage bins in there, of course. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing. Oven, three burner stove. Nice amount of counter space. If you lift uh, this up right here, you still get that deep stainless uh, sink hanging out there. Power, USB. Again, the nicer cabinet pulls. I did a pretty good job with that. Lights everywhere. I mean, this kitchen is bright as can be. Some side pull-out drawers, all that good stuff. Uh, this right here is for a wireless portable speaker that you can purchase after the fact. It char charges here, so it does not come with it. You can purchase it. This is the stereo in this rig. They changed them. It's essential. You Bluetooth in, and that's it. Use your cell phone to stream whatever music you want. That's what most people are doing nowadays. They don't use any of the other functions, so that's what they switch to. Digital thermostat, I am a fan. Uh, moving into the bathroom, actually, let's let's back up the bus for a second. Uh, before we move into the bathroom, they did update this track system up here. So it's strong, tough metal. The wheels are locked in. This will not fall off. And uh, down below here, this is actually strong. It's not going to let the door hop out like all the other ones do, did, still do, whatever version of that you want to think of. Uh, so they did update that. They knew that was a problem. So they're trying to address it. I've not seen anyone else do that as of yet. But if you look at this, you can kind of see the end. It essentially traps it in there. So it can't come out. Uh, storage up top. Hey, that's me. Medicine cabinet. You do have uh, motion sensing lights that'll pop on in here when you walk in. Looks like down below is access panel, so no cabinets to open up. Nice big shower. Shower curtain zips in, zips closed. Uh, they did change up the shower head here. Um, essentially, here's the propaganda that goes along with it. Long story short, it uses uh, less water and gives you the ability to uh, shut it on to shut it off, essentially not using as much water and of course there is that clothes hanger hook inside the shower if you guys so choose huge fantastic fan in here towel rack hanging out over here top to bottom plenty of space to put it and then the bedroom a couple changes pretty much the same tv mounting over here i'm gonna click my little light on here you do get more usb ports they added drawers on both sides in addition to your traditional hanging shelves up top a little bit of storage in here that kind of thing down below kind of where one of the changes are it's like a shoe cubby area so you can put stuff in here you can put bins in here you can pull it out through the front it's not a hundred percent closed in, so kind of one of the nifty little changes you do get a hanging hook right here in your bedroom of course bedroom door access very nice if you guys are running down the road and don't want to open up a slide but check this out you do have an inverter so 150 watts you can plug uh odds and ends in here it will uh power god most things a little sheet here is telling you laptops drills printers all that kind of good stuff and then uh, over here we do have the auto detect if you were to add lithium batteries, your converter will accommodate. This particular one is pre-wired for a second AC. So if you wanted to add one, I don't know why you would on something of this size, but you could. So other than that, 
a couple little changes a couple big changes some things that go uh that do a little bit some things that do a lot that is this unit in a nutshell nice overview shot here um as always if you guys have any questions comments concerns please let me know